Hey guys, amongst all the craziness of the uh, coronavirus, uh, me and the first mate, we're just batting down the hatches and we're just going to keep on doing what we've been doing. That's uh, drinking brews and smoking stogies, right? So, uh, today for you viewing pleasure, uh, we have Yards Brewing Company, Ales of the Revolution, Washington's Porter. Now, I did look up uh, homebrew re recipes on how to make this. Uh, before I even, you know, before they even came out with these this line of uh, brews, um, they have Jeffersons they, and mostly the original rations that the soldiers back in the 17 or 1600s uh, back then used to do. A lot of it had to do with like, you know, molasses and it sounds like some pretty potent, strong nastiness. I mean, doesn't even have I don't even think it had any barley in it or, or hops or anything. It was just tincture of freaking. Um, uh, yeah, like fermented for molasses and, and things like that. So, but I think they take that type of recipe, the original Washington's recipe or Jefferson's recipe, and then they added some hops and they added some other things to it. So I'm not sure on the bottle itself. It doesn't say anything about what went into this. It is a uh, heavy, heavy on the alcohol. It's a seven percent porter uh, by yards. So and that's it. There's nothing else to write home about. And it says on the bottle, so let's give it a crack, shall we? Nice little hiss. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to do a vigorous pour, because I don't think yeah, it's not that carbonated. Um, let me back it off just for a second to see if there's any... Nah, it's pretty filtered. There's no... No sludge in the bottom, so this is not bottle conditioned. Nice dark mahogany porter, uh, super clear. Uh, yeah, you can see it in the light. You can see there's golden hues to it, caramel color. I mean, real light on the porter color. I mean, porters, like I said, you can be almost to the stout looking, or to this like a brown ale. So what I'm getting is sugary sweetness. I'm not sure. I believe there might be some molasses in this. I'm not too sure. Uh, you got sugary sweetness. You got all kinds of stuff going on here. It has that English ale type of brown ale aroma from the uh, yeast. It smells almost like, uh, I don't know, like a nut brown ale to me off the nose or even um, uh, the trooper, those English type of aromas I'm getting. Now that the wind is gone, hopefully. Mm. It tastes like a strong nut brown ale with fuggles or some sort of English type style hops. Very watery in body, not heavy at all. Now, we probably all get more uh, flavors out of this once it does warm up. It is rather cold. But I don't mind it since it's about almost 70 degrees here today. Sun's come out, so I decided to do this review. Yeah, super clear, see right through it, ruby red hues, excellent beer by Yards. I'm enjoying it. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Mm -hmm. I like that Fuggles, Fuggles or Tetanang. There's something, something going on there that's similar to the hops that I've used in a, in a brew before. It's almost like an English type of super strong brown ale, in my opinion. I'm not sure if there's molasses in here. If it is, I'm not getting the taste of it. You know? So, hey, 
pick it up, check it out. Let me know in the comments if you had this before or, uh, you know, what you think. So, till we do good, my friends, stay healthy. Uh, don't go all crazy with the hype. I was at the grocery store today. It was ransacked. I mean, really? It's not like they're saying they're going to quarantine everybody and shut down the grocery stores where you can't go to the grocery store. At least not yet. And I don't even see if I haven't even heard that. But whatever. Hey. I got my supplies to make more beer, so uh, stay tuned for a beer uh, brew day coming shortly. Maybe this weekend, if I get around to it. So, until we do it again, my friends, remember, let's set sail.